Krishna was easier to bring the shutter to some extent, but to stir it by an arcing and freezing in the capital of our land. Lives have been ruefully lost <coughs> and property wantonly destroyed. More distressful than such written waste of our precious resources, our sacred laws have been brazenly defied. Our good name at home and abroad has been rudely sullied. Our cherished peace has been deeply disturbed, and our trusting hearts have been cruelly broken. Notwithstanding this year's attack upon the nature, I now assure my fellow citizens that there is no need to fear. I repeat, there is no need to fear because our cause is just. Government is firmly in control and will accordingly defend the security and sovereignty of the state at any cost. We extend our special thanks in this public manner to the militia men from other parts of the country, especially Grand Bazaar County, who came and offered their services to defend this sacred heritage. It is this spirit of total involvement and national commitment which alone will ensure the reality of the government of the people, for the people and by the people. We are convinced that the violence and destruction of the past weekend was planned and executed by criminally minded individuals, seditious and treasonable, together with a large number of foreigners, not so much to affect the studied rights issue, but merely to wreck our national stability and overthrow our government. So it was done against our solemn warning and true tested patience. I said, true tested patience. Perhaps I should have not been as patient as I was. We intend to deal mercilessly with these vicious and wicked people and all their diabolical designs and conspirators. But the lives and property of our people will be universally protected, secured, and preserved at all costs. We will not tolerate any further incidents of looting and vandalism in our city or in a part of our country. In the supreme interest of the state, we have decided to exhaust the full extent of the law to safeguard our nation and preserve the state. And all will stand equally responsible before the law for acts of lawlessness within society and the state. As your president, the national standard bearer, and commander in chief, we therefore call upon all the people who elected us to serve them by the grace of Almighty God to stand up bravely and kindly for their country, showing neither plunder nor intimidation as loyal and patriotic citizens. But we assure you that law and order will be fully restored. Let us then return to our places of employment with renewed energy, ever more determined to repair the harmful damages of the recent past and ensure the ultimate success of this great national enterprise, this glorious heritage of ours, this blessed land of liberty, the Republic of Life. May Almighty God continue to preserve us to protect us, to safeguard us, to prosper us the words of our hands and save the state. That was a statement by President Torbert, and you're tuned to Station ELBC broadcasting from Monrovia.